Well, I really enjoy singing. Um, I sang for Maya a couple years ago for Christmas. Um, it's been like a part of me for a really long time since like being bullied. It's really helped me like gain more self-confidence. Mm, I really Thank like you. it. So when did you start singing? My mum said since birth, but um, I noticed that I could sing was like probably in like grade two, grade three when I would like sit on the oval and like sing what I was feeling to myself and that's how I knew that I started to like singing and I talked to my mum about it and then she ended up enrolling us in acting, singing and dancing and it was really fun. Most of the time I was practicing by myself but then I, I can't remember how many years ago, I'm pretty sure, or oh, 2012, I, my mum enrolled me to my first singing school which was Connie Wright Singing School and um, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. We got to like record our own songs and there was concerts and it was really fun. But um, we ended up taking a break off of that and I took like two years and I gained so many more talents that I did with her. Like learning how to do vibrato. I never even knew what that was, but I taught myself how to do it, the scales, everything like that. And I thought I was very proud of myself for learning through YouTube actually. So tell us about your other, your other hobbies. You've got the making the, the YouTube videos with your sister. Yeah, I really enjoy that as well. Again, what my sister said, like um, our mum put us to do it. I remember we used to use my mum's account. And we used to post like really- Did your mum give you the idea? Yeah, yes and no. Like my sister and I, when we recently got an iPod, um, we ended up seeing YouTube and then Maddie and I decided to like, <laughs> Maddie and I decided to film some videos on there and post it onto our mum's account and they were pretty embarrassing like singing Call Me Maybe and really embarrassing makeup tutorials like using lip gloss as mascara. <laughs> it's really embarrassing but it was a good laugh. I want you to talk about this Teen Wolf. Like you said, oh. I like Teen Wolf hot guys, Theo, Liam, Styles and Scott. <laughs> they're like, they're really hot. Um, T tell us why, tell, say their name and tell us why each of these guys are hot. Theo's just hot. <laughs> Is it their hair, He's, their eyes? What do you like about just them? Just everything. Since like, I don't know what about them. All of them are like meant to play characters in high school, but they're like older than what they are, but they look like that age. And they're just, I don't know how to explain it. Just everything about them, they're just hot. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, say their names. They're um, from Team Wolf. Team Wolf. Um, Theo, he is, well, all of them are wolves. I don't know exactly what they are, but most of them. Scott is an alpha. Um, and then Styles, he's like, he doesn't have like a supernatural power. He's just like the one that figures out. He's really smart. Um, Liam, he's a wolf like in training for alpha, to be an alpha or whatever. And um, Theo, he's like, he's not a true alpha. He's like, how do I say it? He's gotten like, the dread doctors like made him how he is. He's a bad character basically, but trying to be good. Makeup styling, well that's part of your, your um, isn't it? YouTube yeah, I really thing. enjoy. Um, I want to like pursue that as a career, like I really want to go to either RMIT or Melbourne Polytechnic. I've always gotten A's and B's in art and I didn't get an elective for it so I was really upset about that. But Why is that? Why didn't you? Because um, it, weren't your marks good enough? Or no, my it? marks are really good for art but they mixed up mine and they put me in different subjects like forensic and stuff like that that I didn't want to do. I was a bit bummed about that. But did you complain? Yeah, we did. I've got like um, outdoor ed, sport and rec, patisserie and, oh, yeah, them. But I didn't get any art. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it was the, the school's fault? Yeah, they me messed up um, my electives and put me in different classes. And I sometimes I didn't have classes, like I had blank spaces, so. I had to like just pick what was left. I've been like three times to change it and this is the best that's gonna get. 
I feel like these days a lot of mainly guys tell girls that they're insecure for wearing makeup at school and stuff like that. But if you see what other makeup artists are doing, like some are like creating their whole face a different look, like Michael Jackson, and so many girls are so talented to do that. And guys just think that we're doing it just because we're insecure or like not confident about how we look. But I just feel like, you know, it's an art. I have a passion for it. I like doing it. So I'll continue to do it. <laughs> a lot of like kids these days, and I know from heaps of other different schools, um, kids like, it's underage, they shouldn't be doing what they're doing, like smoking and taking drugs. I don't even understand how they even get those types of things being underage, like how many kids at our school started since year seven and year eight, and it's just ridiculous that they think that it's okay. And yeah, this is my that. special item. It's a photo of my first award I ever got when I had singing. Most of my primary school life I've gotten bullied and singing has been like an escape to me. Like I used to sing and get all my emotions out. Like I used to go on the oval and start crying and sing how I was feeling because, yeah, I remember I, all the girls would turn on me and then I, I think that's why I'm very athletic is because I used to like play with the guys and like football and soccer and basketball and then one day the girls went up to the boys and they didn't want to hang out with me anymore so that's why I sat on the oval and started crying and found out that I like singing and that's why this means a lot to me because it was my first ever award. What was the reason why they bullied you? What do you think the reason was? My mum said that it's probably because they were jealous of me but I never saw it like obviously as a kid you don't really see those types of things but in all honesty I don't really know exactly why. I didn't do anything to hurt them to do it back to me or anything like that. I just think maybe they were going through something at home or something like that, but I'm not too sure. So your special message? Um, for young people like yourself? To be confident about yourself. Like, don't let people pull you down and always bring like positive vibes and like do things that make you happy as well. Yo, never met someone that spoke my language Never met a guy that's a player You're the type of guy to make a lane switch Hand me the brush and say paint it Give me your heart and I'll hold it Show me your soul and I'll mold it Baby boy, you gotta be the dopest Gotta be the one with the coldest Boy, I know You can follow my sister and I on cookla.forever